Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that he would create an action plan for peace by the end of November. In an interview with Japanese broadcaster NHK, Zelensky stressed that Kyiv would start detailed discussions with relevant countries on Ukraine's territorial integrity and other issues related to the ongoing war with Russia. He also touched upon his recent phone call with former U.S. President Donald Trump, revealing that he invited Donald Trump to visit his country. If Mr. Trump wants to learn something about Ukraine, he can come and see for himself or ask me. We have been in contact with his team. Mr. Trump told me he was available for any questions, and that I have his phone number," Zelensky said. Furthermore, Zelensky named three factors for winning the ongoing war with Russia patients, support and diplomatic pressure are the three factors for a just end to the war. If the US and European nations maintain unity, there will be added pressure, and show Moscow that there is no chance," he said. Zelensky stressed that he cannot respond to calls for a ceasefire while Russia continues to occupy Ukrainian territory. Meanwhile, in his overnight address yesterday, Zelensky admitted that fighting in the eastern Ukraine region was extremely challenging. It is extremely challenging in the Donetsk directions, and it is in the Pokrovsk direction that there have been the biggest number of Russian assaults these weeks, the most intense enemy attacks are precisely there," he said, adding that, everyone who stops these Russian strikes and destroys this Russian offensive potential is performing one of the most important missions in this war. Despite the tense situation near Pokrovsk, Ukraine has the strength to achieve its goals, the Ukrainian leader added in his address. His comments came after Russia said on Sunday that its forces had captured Progres and Yevgenivka villages in the Donetsk region. Chinese manufacturers with the permission of Beijing supply Russia with the necessary equipment which it used to continue the Kremlin's criminal war against Ukraine. The Washington Post reported this. In particular, according to the publication, we are talking in particular about the supply of complex machines for the production of weapons. According to the UN, China's export of this equipment increased more than two times last year. In particular, the Chinese company Shandong Ori Laser Technology Company makes money from the sale of laser machines with which Russia manufactures weapons for the war against Ukraine. Last month, this company and dozens of other similar Chinese manufacturers were hit by US sanctions. It is known that the company is engaged in the production of fiber laser cutters intended for use in civilian purposes. However, this equipment can also be used to produce drones. Representatives of the US Treasury note that Ori Laser supplied Russia with metalwork and other related equipment. In addition, Chinese manufacturers supply electronics to Russia. According to the UN Comtrade database, Chinese companies sold $245 million worth of laser machines to Russia last year. In 2022, China sold similar equipment to Russia for $162 million. In 2021, Chinese exports of laser machines to Russia amounted to only $90 million. China also separately exported $390 million worth of metal working machines to Russia in 2023, up from $94 million a year earlier. Russia has become completely dependent on the supply of all types of machines and their parts from China, notes Pavlo Luzin, a researcher at Tufts University. Analysts say Beijing, which tightly controls its private sector, has allowed companies to continue doing any business with Russia. Journalists emphasize that Ori Laser's relations with Russia date back to the Kremlin's criminal war against Ukraine. The company published videos taken before 2022 in which Russian customers pose next to their cars. Russian industry does not produce such machines as Ori precision laser cutters. Before the start, of a large-scale war against Ukraine and the introduction of Western sanctions, Russia bought these tools from European, Japanese, South Korean and other manufacturers. The company's Ori Laser Fiber Laser Tools are an example of equipment used by the Russian defense industry to produce military drones, jet armor and other military equipment. Fiber laser cutters are capable of cutting metal into precise shapes that cannot be duplicated by the human hand. The general profile of Ori Laser is consistent with other Chinese manufacturers of laser machines used by the Russian defense industry. Ori Laser is supported by the Chinese government. 
Beijing has so far done little to stop private companies from supplying Russia's defense industry.